Let's win a game. I'm the master trickster. The master trickster. Let's win a game. I'm the prince of pranks. The prince of pranks. Well, everyone in town, from my folks to my buddies, know of my unquenchable thirst for pranks. Besides charm and glory, I've got one dream of glory to get listed in the record books. What's a, 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 I'm the master trickster. The master trickster. What's a, what's a, what's a, what's a, what's a, I'm the prince of pranks. Believe it or not, this is the story of Danny's first love. Ow! Oh, it burns! It burns! Poor guy, he really didn't stand a chance. Oh, great. Now I have blisters. Today it's cream peas and spam. I'd rather eat the tray than this, this reconstituted evil. Huh. You say evil, I say potato. I just know what I like, that's all. Uh. 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 Hi, I'm Rachel. Uh. I just moved here from Regina. <laughs> okay. You're drooling in your peas, man. Whoa, was that an angel? Oh, no. <laughs> Does the, you know, baby need a bib? <laughs> hey again. What's going on? I uh, smelled like pee, but oh, peas. <laughs> so the teacher made me go and change. Good thing I had gym today. Hey, there's that awesome prankster guy I heard about. That was my idea. But I just saw him do the prank. Yeah, I told him what to do. <laughs> I'm the one who comes up with the pranks, and sometimes I let him do one. Well, that sure is nice of you. Yeah, well, he's really needy and craves attention. Well, I'm more, you know... The creative mastermind? Yeah, the, uh... Creative mastermind. I'd love to be there when you perform your next prank. I guarantee you'll have a front row seat. <laughs> Looking good. I have a date with Rachel. The lady has interesting taste. Might I suggest you wear pants on your date? What am I thinking? Girls like Rachel don't go out with guys like me. I'm a goner, Andy. A goner! Yep, dead man walking. Hmm, if only there was something we could do. Well, actually, there is something. You wouldn't happen to be planning any ingenious pranks this evening, would you? Oh, great one. My senses are tingling. Why do you ask, my sycophantic little friend? <laughs> A funny thing. Rachel thinks that I'm the big prankster around here. <laughs> Who gave her that idea? Everyone from Saskatoon to Stuttgart knows Andy Larkin is. Uh, I did. I'm sorry, but she really digs pranksters, and I really like her, and... I just need one prank to prove to her I am who I say I am. Even though I'm not. Oh, come on, please. I'd like to help you out, Danny, but you're talking about my life here. I've defined myself as the greatest in the world. My hands are tied. Please. <laughs> oh, all right. Really? If his best friend can't help him, then who will? Besides, who's gonna know? Ahem. I don't deserve you. Hey, it's not like I'm giving you a kidney or anything. <laughs> Taking your date to Beans and Burger is a smart move. She has the choice between beans or a burger. 
She's already in there. But uh, I don't think I can do this, Andy. Don't worry. We just have to go over a couple of things. Have a seat. If you want Rachel to think you're the real deal... Ugh. First off, never let her see you sweat. That's a dead giveaway that you're out of your league. I can't help it. It's glandular. Next, there is no shame in failure. Well, now you tell me. If at first you don't succeed, learn from your mistakes and use that knowledge for next time. Hmm. I didn't realize the full extent of the martial art of pranking. Oh yeah, it's like Tai Chi with extra latte. Here it is. It's not a huge one, but still, it'll give you a bang for your buck. Since when did you start keeping a pranking notebook? Since my ideas have become so elaborate. Gotta be organized if you want to stay edgy. Oh, it's so complex in its simplicity. What do I do? Just sit with Rachel, and when it goes down, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rachel. Hi, Danny. So, what's the prank? When's it gonna happen? Tell me what it is, come on. All in good time. What can I say? I'm a sucker for young love and hot apple pie. Hot sauce, the wowie juice of the prankster. This one is five alarm hot. I'm looking forward to that big hunk of pie after a workout like that. Hello, Mayor. Your Tuesday night apple pie is coming up. That pie was you to get out of here. <laughs> Sometimes you kill three birds with one prank. This one might go down as the best prank ever. Check, please. Oh, Danny, you're the best prankster in the world. I'm gonna tell everybody you did this. Oh, right. Yeah, but she's new to the school. How many people could she possibly tell? <laughs> A kid simply known as Danny, the master of pranks. That was Rachel's idea. Sure, there's more. The prank was good-natured, hilarious, but above all, very clever. Well, how was I to know Rachel's dad was the new gossip columnist for the paper? So Danny gets the credit. It's not as if I haven't basked in the glory of everyone's adulation plenty of times. Like, hey! We know it's you! Like, you're Danny, the master of pranks! Way to go! Like, what's with you, Danny? Pranking like that! What's with Danny? What's I'd with laugh Danny? at the irony, but I'm afraid it might land on my head and crush me. Thanks for coming with me. I just needed to look at Rachel. What I wouldn't do for the master. <laughs> what are you boys doing? Get back to class. Yes, sir, Principal DeRosa, sir. One minute, boys. <gasps> Danny, I read in the paper about what you did with the hot sauce and the mayor. Come on, Principal DeRosa. It wasn't even on school property. Well, let's just say, Danny. You couldn't have picked a more deserving subject. <laughs> Steal my girl, huh? Well, there's your karma, Mr. Mayor. Wait a minute. You liked the prank? I don't condone any pranks of any kind. But if the mayor was going to get his comeuppance for being a girlfriend-stealing backstabber, then... So now DeRosa goes soft. Does you sitting in detention all week sound like I'm soft? Thanks for backing me up there, pal. <sighs> Danny? <sighs> uh, he's a goner, all right. Hey, Andy, wait up. 
Rachel is totally into me. We're going out again tonight. Well, three cheers for Danny. Thanks, and I mean that. Because it's all because of you, Andy. <laughs> You're not the world's greatest prankster for nothing, you know. I couldn't agree with you more. So, um, you know, uh, what else you got? She wants more, does she? She's insatiable, Andy. I've never seen anything like it. She wants me to prank all the time. She wants me to pull another one tonight on our date. Okay, where are you taking her? The batting cages. Ah, here's one that just might be a home run. So, what are you gonna do? When's it gonna hit? Tell me! Shh, keep it down. All in good time. It's a fact that the simpler the prank, the better the chance of success. Delicious P.E.I. potatoes. What could be simpler? It's Donnie Decker! Oh, Donnie! Over here! Over here! Oh, it's Donnie Decker! Hey, Donnie! Hey, everybody! Let's hit some dingers. Start it up, Larry. Okay, now, that was really funny. You're a genius! Huh? You! You did this? Uh -huh. You'd be the perfect fit for my new TV pranking show, Unsuspecting Dolts. Better yet, idiots who help their friends out but don't get the glory. And I'll be the star of the show. That's it, Danny. The Andy Gravy Train stops here. Uh -oh. <laughs> the center of the biggest buzz ever. Danny, congrats on the TV deal. Yo, dude, you're the Earth's greatest prank type guy. Um, whatever happened to your sidekick, Andy? Forget Andy. Wait till you see the next thing Danny pulls. It's gonna slay everyone. <laughs> You sure pulled off a good one last night. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, pal. Wasn't it Danny, the star of Unsuspecting Dolts, who did that one? <laughs> Come on, man. Just one small one to tide me over. Rachel is really getting on my back. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Just one. Sorry, Danny. It's for your own good. And that's how we do the Provencier Pass. Any questions? Little guy at the back. Um, yeah, please. No. Next question. Buddy. No. What the please? Dude, you are totally crossing a line. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Wonderful to see you. Danny. <laughs> Danny's here. You look fantastic. Hi, Andy. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Ah, forget it. I've got iced tea. Coming. I'll go get us some. Hmm. Go ahead. Take it. You know how much I love a pranking man. But I'm your friend. But look at me. I'm hot. Beauty is only skin deep. Friendship is forever. What am I doing? Take the notebook already. Just one little look. <gasps> My eyes! A million points of light! The greatest prank yet developed by man! <gasps> Uh, I just remembered I have to go and see Rachel. Bye! It's for his own good. And if I can get some comeuppance out of it, then so be it. Come on, Danny Wanny. Please tell me the pranky wanky. Okay, honey. Strap yourself in, because this one is a masterpiece. Whoa! I've created a monster. Like Prankula or the wolf prank. Okay, not the last one. What I thought of was this.
So you want to pull off a high-quality prank? Well, scoop up some of that garbage essence with that plastic bowl you've got there. P.U. That smells awful, doesn't it? On to the next phase. Careful. You don't want to get any on you. Ha, ha, ha. Look at them run! Hilarious! There's only one thing left to do. Good job. Good job for a prank well done. Wow, that's really complicated, Danny. Do you think you can pull it off? Don't worry about it, Rach. Everything's under control. Hey, Danny, you order a ride? So where are we going? I have to collect the concentrated garbage runoff from the mounds of trash at the dump. Nice. <laughs> Your car's making funny noises. So how do you find this essence de poubelle? Whoa, that's nasty. Oh, no! <laughs> This isn't the way it's supposed to go at all. It's supposed to be open. If you wanted to borrow a cherry picker, you should have told me. My friend in West Gackle has one. Well, he's in jail now. Let's get out of here. Hey, Danny. Huh? I'm sorry, Andy. I stole your master prank from your notebook, but I couldn't pull it off. You truly are the greatest prankster in the world. Yes, I am. It's a gift. And a curse. I guess I have to confess to Rachel that I'm not the prankster she thinks I am. And she was so looking forward to helping me set off the air conditioner after I put the garbage juice in it. It wouldn't have worked. The prank was fake. Too complicated. Not practical. This is the piece de resistance. Lead on, oh great one. Okay, I need a distraction. Way ahead of you. Hey, Cook, isn't your secret sauce really just mayonnaise and paprika? Now that the daily specials are in plain view, let the fun begin. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes. Oh, I knew those were regular hairs. Jet, please. Oh wow, that was great, Danny. But what happened to putting garbage juice in the air conditioning system? I'm afraid Beans and Burger will have to be shut down due to health violations. What? Why? You have no right! I'm ruined! You did this! Like you did the hot sauce gag! You did this? Uh... Hey! Placing dead animals in a restaurant is a prosecutable offense. I have to take you in. Oh, uh, uh, I'm being arrested. This isn't happening. Since when do food inspectors have handcuffs? <laughs> gotcha, Danny. Uh, I was planning to prank you tonight after your air conditioner prank. I called a casting agency, and this guy was sent to play a food inspector. He was supposed to shut the place down after the garbage smell stank up the place, but it still worked out, though. Wasn't it great? Uh, yeah, I mean, no. Hey. No hard feelings, eh, fella? <sighs> hey, I know you. Aren't you the clown from Jervis's party that took off with Lori? Yeah, that's right. But I'm not a clown anymore. I'm an actor. I love actors. And you sure can pull a mean prank. 
You have got to be kidding. By the way, you guys have great taste in girls. Buh bye Gee, Danny, sorry it didn't work out. Uh, well, I guess it was better to have loved and lost than never to have loved... You know, I could really go for a burger right now. Uh, how about oh. this? You clean out all the puke in the bathroom, and then you clean out the grease trap. And get ready, because it hasn't been cleaned in ten years. Ah! It burns! It Some burns! say all is fair in love and war. I say all is fair in love and pranks. <laughs> <laughs>